I've been living with HIV for 21 years. Of all the people, me being a straightforward woman, how did it come to be me? If you want to live well, go be tested. Whether you're positive or negative, you know it. My biggest challenge is, you know, so it was so difficult to come out to my own parents to tell them that I'm, I am positive. But now, since I've told them, I feel I'm free and they are very supportive. Acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, AIDS, caused by the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, is one of the most serious deadly diseases in human history. It is estimated over 30 million people live with HIV or AIDS worldwide. Over 60% live in the sub-Saharan Africa. Therefore, they need to address the African immigrants in the UK. The statistics shows that there are about 30.8 million people living with HIV and AIDS. These 30.8 million people, almost 68% of these 30 million actually are coming from sub-Saharan Africa. Keep the promise to end the stigma was a theme for the World AIDS Day 2008, an event organized by Newham and Tower Hamlet's AIDS Prevention Partnerships to encourage Africans in the diaspora to embrace and tackle the AIDS issue with a positive approach. The PCTs have invested a lot of money on trying to encourage our community members to come forward and take the test. And now we have community-based HIV testing, which you can get the result within an hour. Please come forward and also uh, cascade this message to your fellow community members uh, to ensure that all community members are informed on HIV, they are aware of the risk of HIV transmissions, and they also are aware of how it can be prevented. Uh, the PCT is very, very interested in, in investing in the community to mobilize, to educate, to raise uh, knowledge and to increase participation by community members. The African Forum, we have come together as a people to represent our community, to stand and say no, we will join forces together and fight against this deadly virus. <laughs> HIV has no face, no class, sexuality, age, and even no race. It's us, the Africans, to openly discuss and foster ways to reduce infections and reduce the stigma amongst ourselves. The thing about HIV AIDS is HIV does not have a face. It is something that affects blacks, whites, Asians. It does not matter who you are. And the second thing is that HIV also does not have a faith. It affects Muslims, Christians, Hindus. There are medicines available to prolong life. Those infected, the big task is to enable early diagnosis. The sad situation here is the fact that one third of people are not even aware they have the problem. And of those who are diagnosed, one third are diagnosed late, which means they've had this infection between seven to ten years before it's coming to our notice or to, for them to recognize that they have this infection. We're talking about seven to ten years of latent infection and being transmitting that infection to somebody. That's the first alarming issue. Secondly, we have extensive treatment that works you know, that can not cure people, but can actually treat them and manage the disease. HIV is now a long-term condition, and people can live with it in health. And so we don't want people to die unnecessarily. We want people to stay with their families, to look after their families. We want to remove the, uh, uh, remove the stigma associated with HIV. Neom has been very proactive around supporting Africans with HIV. Uh, we have a community organization. Um, we have an organization called HIV uh, Neom HIV Advocacy Project, which helps people with HIV. They come in for counseling, they come in for advice, and we kind of support them to access services. But we also have a young people's project called Positive Vibes, which kind of takes in young people from the age of 8 to 18. And they have a variety of activities which they do, but we also provide education around sexual health, HIV, to make sure that 
they are informed about HIV and they can protect themselves. Dr. Priscilla Ibekwe, Associate Director Tower Hamlet's Primary Care Trust, highlighted the new initiative to encourage local people to take HIV tests, hence early diagnosis. The rapid HIV test is available to everyone and is free to and confidential. Well, the PCT is keen to work with the African community to encourage people to take the tests. And so to this effect, we've been running campaigns. We have posters on the bus stops, we have regular campaigns, and it's very discreet, one-hour test, so that people can know what their status is and get the treatment that they require. African communities in the UK are believers of different faiths. The PCT is working closely with faith leaders to embrace those living with HIV and educate others about the conditions associated with HIV. I always say this, a disease you don't know will always mess you up. But when you know it, then you can know how to fight it. Beyond the pulpit, a slogan for faith leaders to campaign, removes the stigma and mobilize their congregation to take the test should be careful to sort of go beyond the pulpit, you know. What was to happen if somebody comes to me and say that, Pastor Patrick, I've, I've been diagnosed with HIV. You know, yes, the first thing I can do is pray with that person, but the help that they need is beyond the church. Because when that person leaves the church and goes home, they are going to live with HIV every day of their lives. And therefore, I have to, to admit sort of and say that, look, I know that I can pray with you but I can also direct you to the people who can give you help. That is beyond me. Uh, traditionally, uh, our people are very religious, and then uh, they were not open about uh, talking about HIV. Then we are, uh, I and another group of my friends are trying to uh, bring on board all Somalis and then ask them to, to, to listen to you know, the, how, how the people are you know, fighting against HIV. And that since we are part of the global will, uh, we would like our people to be aware and, and afford the dangers of the uh, HIV. We've also heard about the Somali community. They are very stigmated about the HIV and AIDS. They don't want to talk about it. Yes. You know, why is there this barrier? Uh, the, the, this barrier comes from, you know, it g goes back to the fact that people are uh, first and foremost the Muslims. Uh, so t actually talking about sex is itself, without even involving it to, to be involved in um, uh, HIV and AIDS, is actually a stigma. HIV and AIDS is a world problem where many are either infected or affected. And with mass migration all over the world, it requires our collective effort to be leaders, to lead our lives and of others away from the epidemic. Take the test, be in the know-how, keep the promise to reduce the stigma. I say today, if you've never been tested, go and get tested, and it's free. Testing is free. I would encourage people, in your pocket, in your wallet, carry a condom. You never know who you're meeting. The message is this. Be in the know. Take the test. Positive, you know what to do. Negative, you know what to do. The first thing that I can say is, especially with the young people, is abstinence. You know, if, if you're not married, you know, you don't have to copy whatever every, every, every other people are doing. Uh, so the first thing is, I can tell you that, please abstain from it. Together we can beat this issue and we want that the youth who understand this issue to be able to come out and support the elder generation and, and, and sort of like get this message, uh, you know, really hit home. Uh, we're doing our bit and we want also you know, to do uh, your bits and come forward and help us. Ekita, ekita, ekita. Ya, sengalo kitu, kitu, ale tobin, lo de mosek.